Hey friends, well, legendary troop talk. Let's see. Firstly, game has sent these for collection. Uh, troop conversion is unlocked. It was obviously done yesterday, but official communication has come today in the inbox. Uh, you can now convert epic troops to legendary troops. Convert your epic troops to legendary troops with new stats and bonuses. For further information, please tap the more info button. Best of luck in the battles. So, firstly, this combo can help one of the troops to reach, depending on where you are, one or two levels easily. And more info, so let's go there. They boost stats of a hero on which they are equipped, grant bonus to mana generation. Additional, each legendary troop is linked to two hero classes, example, barbarian, druids. <clears throat> Equipping legendary troop on a hero of a matching class will grant passive effect, additional and additional stats bonus. That's already spoken yesterday. Two ways to acquire legendary troops, summon from the legendary troop summon gate or convert an existing epic troop. So very soon legendary troops will be available in the summon. So that's one of the key reasons that I'm making this particular video. I'll get on to the point. Both. Okay. Uh, as for the rules. So that's that. We are done with that. Let's get into the barracks. For today's discussion. Well, so... Having said all that, let me go to this. And uh, over here, I wanted to share that firstly, there is no hurry to convert. I'm sharing my thoughts, my strategy for myself. Why? The conversion, let me go to the convert part. So I'm going to use this fellow. The conversion does not help 100% of my roster, which is the fast, very fast, average, slow, very slow, and the tower heroes. When I'm looking at this mana bonus, which is a very valid point that some of the players have, but I'm going to demystify this, that it's not so draconian also. And it's part of the game strategy. So we can't do a damn thing. Once the game has decided a particular strategy, we are stuck with it or we delete the game and move on in life. So I have decided at this moment not to delete the game. So I'm thinking from that particular perspective that the game has capped this mana bonus at 11% because the game also is seeing that is seeing tons and numbers and numbers of hero costumes being rolled out with that 5% mana bonus via the costume route. So that 5 plus 11 is 16 all sorted out. Clear? So there is the mana part according to the game and more and more costumes are going to come out. So there's no other choice. The game is going to try and push through, sell, do whatever the hell it wants to do via the costume route. So that's my uh thought on the strategy um uh, very fast heroes are very fast fast average and uh what do you call average average speed costumes i would like to clarify tower heroes are not impacted with this because they all charge all the heroes in the game in the very fast that is the rush format whether it's tournaments or wars are not impacted because the 11% will charge all of them in two matches. So that part is also sorted. Your rush wars is not going to get impacted. You can take these legendary troops with any very slow hero also. 11% takes care of it. So that's done. That's That should answer some of the mana lovers' uh, uh, cribs. Uh, I'm also not an anti-mana guy, but I'm just choosing to find some sense and rationality so that I don't go bonkers. But the important factor is I'm not in a hurry to level up because legendary troops don't serve at this moment 100% of my roster. But they do serve almost 80% or 
85% of my active roster. So I want to make that part also clear. My active roster consists of very fast, fast, average speed and tower heroes. Those are the fellows that I use most of the times, almost 85 or 90%. So legendary troops completely go over there. This does become a challenge with uh, those heroes that are average speed but without a costume. And since I don't give 20 emblems to all my uh, heroes that I'm actively using, many times I don't get the 2% uh, mana bonus uh, node cleared. And hence I'm not able to do get the 13% mana bonus to be able to charge the heroes in three matches. So that's still an issue for me. Obviously, legendary troops are aimed uh, at faster heroes and older heroes who are fast and with costumes so that there is massive enhancement and they basically operate like the new heroes. Obviously, the game has gone overboard with the toons and the toons passive and with this, the stats of the toons is going to go to an absurdly crazy level. But okay, that's what it is. They are trying to sell toons also. Another point that the game has clarified via their communication today that there's going to be uh, legendary troops going to be introduced in the, leg in, in the troops summon. And the tokens are going to be different, which is legendary troop tokens and gems. So another reason for no hurry to convert is, I don't know how the tokens are going to come, whether they will gift some tokens or whether they will uh, provide the tokens as loot, and so on and so forth. Of course, they will sell the tokens. Uh, that is 100% guaranteed. So there is a chance of me pulling legendary troops. So I would like to do the conversion after some initial clarity of legendary troops landing in my troop barracks. So I can aim for some other type of troop rather than being stuck, stuck with the duplicate. So Another point I wanted to highlight was the troop, legendary troop duplicate problem. It will become another headache, another crib, another issue. Just needs patience of a few weeks or maybe a month. That's it. And nothing is going to change in the game from the legendary troop perspective within the next month. We already know that. It took quite a while for the LB2s to really become a menace. And we found a way around that. So... The duplicate issue can be avoided by no, not converting. Um, what else? One another wild thought, but then it's not something that I'll be doing. But I notice that quite a few players, you know, when I'm facing either in tournament or in wars, uh, have level 26 and above crit troops. So if one is open to sacrificing the critical percentage, then critical troops can be immediately converted to, uh, uh, obviously level 26 and above, to legendary troops. Very clear. Because what do the critical troops provide? Apart from the critical percentage bonus, they provide a good amount. Let me look at this one. Uh, amount of defense, good amount of HP, which these all buggers are providing. There is a higher attack and there's a higher defense. There's a higher, massively higher uh, HP. So uh, you can, I would use the crit troop in this because it's still 26% defense coming from there and 33% attack. So I, I, I'm seeing... Uh, these attack fellows really being good because and some of the some of the unstoppable fighter so quite a few of the heroes are very very clearly showing a good attack defense and hp combo so a crit troop is absolutely because crit troop does not provide any speed uh increase of the mana and it's basically for the critical uh uh percentage so this can be really helpful. So yeah, all the crit troops, good options for the players who have. Your prayers have been answered. You're all thinking, oh, well, I this was what I leveled early on. Now I'm stuck with it. Well, you can get unstuck by leveling them up. Sorry, by converting them to legendary troops.
so i think i've covered all the points um hopefully uh, that gives clarity um i'm following the same patient uh, approach there is the sky hasn't fallen down there's no urgency uh, to wait and see <clears throat> and i will end on this particular note so i'm going to go to this part uh i have taken so for me uh, gameplay involves heroes heroes getting charged and the hero specials being unleashed on the defense that i am attacking that's it that's my style tile damage is helpful and useful but i don't base everything on the tile damage hero specials play an important role of course when i'm stacking a color the tile damage combined is really helpful in knocking certain specific heroes who are weak against that particular color out so that is part of gameplay so because of that mana uh bonus was very important so obviously we know the 30% uh, the level 30 fellows give 15 but the key was to achieve this 13% mana bonus so that the average troops sorry average speed heroes can fire in three matches so automatically the fast and the very fast heroes fire in uh three or less matches and the tower troops fire in two matches so this used to this was mainly for the average speed heroes rest of the faster fellows could fire a little faster early on also at 17 and so on so forth so 13% mana it was my target across four troops if i'm using four average speed heroes which has been a rare case because most of the times i have used one fast hero for sure so 3 is what i played with but of late i took it to the fourth so for that i have one that covers an average speed guy two covers the average speed fellow three covers the average speed and the fourth troop that i got to 17 was magic with the 14% mana bonus to reach to be able to charge average speed heroes and in case i was using one fast speed then i usually convert which you would have seen in my war videos and tournament videos and various videos that you see that i prefer to take this one because level 11 mana troop charges a fast fast speed uh, hero or very fast in the same uh, way uh, together along with average speed fellows so the mana node where the talent uh, becomes very important for heroes without costumes because uh, then uh, that combined along with the legendary uh, troops uh, 11% achieves 13 so that uh, the average speed without costume can charge in three matches and also you can use your cyclops and um, magic troops to reach that particular mana bonus node uh, much faster compared to the mana troops which should help you can give one or two or three troops for the conversion from the 26 and the 27 levels okay um that's it i think i've covered most of the points actually all the points that i wanted to talk about obviously um uh, be patient that's it thanks uh and also please subscribe to the channel because uh that helps the channel it helps the channel reach more and i want to thank each one of you who has subscribed and has contributed and supported this channel um and uh, see you in the next video cheers